How's it going? Fox back again. So yeah, I've made an electric piano. Um, it's quite variable. It can be sort of like a honky tonk piano all the way down to sort of like a Rhodes. Um, I'm not going to do it step by step because it's very involved. I'm just going to sort of show you what I've done and the reasons for it. Okay, first of all, turn that delay the reverb off. Frequency shifter, chorus, analog boost, and distortion. Push it all the way over to oscillator one. So yeah, the, um, what about the filters as well? Let's open both filters up. So yeah, the main oscillator is a uh, Wave 48. It's a very organy sounding oscillator anyway. Perfect for these sort of sounds. So that's what I've done. I haven't swept it. It's in the classic, change it to a classic Wave 48. Got this one pitched down 12 semitones, so it's sort of the body of the sound. You can hear, um, I've already got velocity mapped to volume. The way you do that is you go in the matrix section, you turn velocity on to oscillate to volume. And then on the easy page, you need to turn oscillate volume all the way down. Then velocity is mapped to volume. It's that simple. So velocity on oscillate of volume on full in the easy page, turn the oscillate of volume down to zero. So yeah, then I've blended in another wave, it's wave 62. This one's got some simil similar characteristics, but it's not so piano-y. I need to turn all these, that pitch off. You can see the reason I chose it, it's very metallic-y, very piano-y. Uh, this one is an octave higher than oscillator one, so the two of them together. Just showing you what I've done there. I've created a sort of basic pluck amp envelope in the main amp envelope. Um, pretty much zero attack, just a tiny little bit, just to take away the, the punch. In the oscillator section, I've got the punch intensity on full. You really want that with a piano. Like it's, it emphasizes like the strike in the keys. Uh, we do something else to create a bit of punch later on. Uh, yeah, where was I? Filter. So yeah, the amp envelope. What I then did in the matrix section, I set the mob wheel to amp envelope sustain and put it on full. What that means is that in effect, the mob wheel is going to push this sustain up. So when you want a note to sustain, you can use the mob wheel. Obviously, your notes need to be long enough in your MIDI clip or held down. I'll just show you a chord without the sustain on. Obviously, it peters out because of the amp envelope with the sustain on. Not very piano-like, but some people like to flick the sustain in and out. So you've got control over how long each note holds. tiny bit of light saturation turned on but it's not doing anything because the oscillator volume is off obviously the light saturation will come in with the velocity if that makes any sense so in the filter section what have I done I've took filter link off so we can control the envelopes and the destination amounts independent of one another Um, both of them are on low pass, both of them are in digital mode. Um, I pulled the filter cut off for this one right down. Made it sound like a real deep piano. Or more of a Rhodes. 
the lower you go with this filter, the more like an electric piano it sounds. Okay, then we'll move on to the filter envelope. Um, I've got a reasonable attack time, so whatever we're on to this envelope is going to take a little while for it to take in effect. And I've done the filter envelope on negative, so it's going to close the filter up, and then I've dialed it, well, you can see. It just helps close the nose, notes of a time. That's emulating a piano again. You get the bright brightness of the keys striking as they slow down. Uh, obviously the pitch decreases and the volume and it gradually gets smoother so closing that filter off emulates the natural decay of like a piano string Real basic stuff, nice and straightforward. Then I wanted to add an extra bit of click to the sound, add a bit more punch, the way I've done that is I've assigned envelope 3 to oscillate a 1 pitch and oscillate a 2 pitch. You can see the mod matrix slider is only up plus 1. It's a very, very tiny amount. It's only going to pitch it up a note, but it's going to do it very, very quickly because in em envelope 3, the attack is instant. And the decay, I think I had it on 1 or 2. See what happens if you give it too much? You're getting like a lasery sort of effect or you can a definite... You can definitely hear the pitch decreasing. The less decay we go, it's just creating sort of a click at the start of the notes. Four is good. I'll A-B it for you. I'll turn it on and off. Very subtle, but it, again, it's just emulating the hammer hitting the string. Very, very useful if you're trying to make a piano. So, effects one, the analog boost. Distortion, I chose wide distortion. Uh, the drive I've got on 14%, no treble boost, no high cut. Again, very subtle, but it mixes with the analog distortion. I then had a tiny bit of chorus. This was to more emulate the Rhodes sort of sound when the filter was a little bit lower. Frequency shifter. This, um, you don't really need to do this, but how I've got the frequency shifter, plus four, if I speed it up. So you can always use it like a vibrato in effect, so it's a slight pitch shifting when you have it really, really low. Again, emulating what a piano sounds like. Uh, the, st the strings start off vibrating fast and then they peter off. All adds to help make it sound more like a piano. Uh, I've got the low EQ boosted, the mid EQ boosted, the mid one around a thousand hertz, the low one at 78. Now for the uh, two master effects. The reverb is optional. I, I think personally a small amount of reverb can make something sound more like a piano. If it doesn't sound a piano, it definitely adds something. Let's try. Very, very quick pre delay. And then 
the delay, again, you don't really need a delay. I certainly think it adds something. I often put a delay like this on a piano. I've got a pattern four and five, so it's instantaneously a ping pong. Slightly faster on the right to the left. Colour is on middle, so it's a middle in delay. Uh, LFO rate at 16, depth at 9.4, nothing too drastic. You don't want too much feedback, it's going to sound like it's echoing in a room. 15%, I say, very, very low volume, minus 19 dB, it just helps mixes with the reverb. Dull it right down. Brighten it right up with filter two. Very, very versatile patch. I really like the uh, higher piano. And then again, filter two is just what dulls it down or tones it or turns it more roady, if you like. There you go. Um, I won't be giving this patch away. It's mine. I'm keeping it for a future sound bank. But very, very easy uh, to make an electric style piano in the Varus TI. The main thing is choosing the waveform. This Wave 48, so it's very organy. The uh, Wave 62 as well work perfect together. It's all about the tiny little things you do to try and emulate the piano, like the, the slight bit of pitch um, modulation we've got with Envelope 3. Uh, the filter being closed slowly as the amp envelope declays. Very piano like. Tiny bit of frequency shifting, giving it that very, very subtle bit of wobble. Same with the chorus, just helps smear it together. Analog boosting the distortion, just making it sound more human like. Okay, there you go. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, as always, <laughs> I've already said it. Thanks for watching.